Let's have a look. There is a romance to having a physical vinyl. I mean, you, you take, for instance, you take a David Bowie record, you have like the artwork and you get to see it in physical form and, you know, it's large as well. So instead of just that kind of tiny little thumbnail on a computer that you're seeing, it's like you get to appreciate it as a concept. It kind of encourages you to listen to an album start to finish as opposed to just playing the songs you like. And I think then you really get to understand an album as a piece of art as opposed to a collection of songs, I guess. The first time I tried to mix mine on the club went terribly. It, I was train wrecking, I was nowhere near in time, but it was fine because I thought I looked cool. Bob Marley was kind of the first record that I ever bought, I guess. Everyone should own a Bob Marley record. Growing up, there wasn't loads of music in the house. It was really something that I discovered in spite of that. I was sort of watching a lot of MTV, and it was when uh, Neptunes and Timberland and people like that was my entry point, I guess, in terms of um, that kind of pop music was a gateway to sort of um, more classic hip hop and stuff, I think, as well. I read a statistic, actually, that uh, 65% of commercial radio play in the USA was produced by the Neptunes at one point. It's like 60% of all records on radio was made by Pharrell and Chad, which is just crazy. I was looking through just now and I found this, Neptunes Presents Clones, which for me is such an important album. I think I talk about the Neptunes a little bit too much, but my biggest influences, and I think that this album is so important because it's them as producers producing an artist's album, you know, it's rather than them just producing for other people, this is them putting their stamp on a project and saying this is us, the Neptunes, and stepping to the forefront. I've been working on my three-part album for about the past year now, so I came up with this concept, Dusk, Dark and Dawn, the sort of three different stages in a night out. And one of the reasons for doing that is I wanted to incorporate all the different styles that I produce and not feel kind of confined to one genre for the album. And one of the genres that uh, greatly influenced Dusk, the first part was kind of West Coast hip hop and, uh, and G-Funk and stuff. I wanted people to listen to each part start to finish, you know? I think that there's some appreciation lost when things are in digital because there is so much more music readily available at like the click of a button. I think it's really good that Vinyl's Wiki come back and hopefully it's here to stay. Yeah.